hi welcome to my channel today we're going to be unboxing a kiwi crate and i'm excited to get into this my son is always very excited when they come he's like let me open it now and just like just chill one second so if you're new to my channel i created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today to show you different curriculum and organizational things that we do and also ways to invite christ into your homeschool space so if you're interested in those things please hit that subscribe box and let's open this box so this one I think I've actually had before, but not for him because they are very good about not sending repeats, but this is my body and me. I think this was the very first crate that we got when my oldest was around this age, when he was like five, I had gotten him for Christmas. So it says, discover and explore your amazing <laughs> autonomy. <laughs> no, anatomy, <laughs> oh my gosh. We're doing really well today. Some words, you know, are just so hard to say. I don't know what it is. And they're so similar to other words that you just, anyway, we'll make it through. It'll be fine. So here's what it looks like when you open it up. I recently just got rid of the poster that, I, I don't know if it comes with this or not. It did a few years ago, this big poster in the background. It, ours was getting a little torn up, but we had it out when we were talking about human biology. So this is a little booklet. This is all the instructions and stuff. And you get to do some x-rays and they're gonna sew, sew the brain. <laughs> and then this is gonna have some other activities they can do to explore. So I think this is a lung one. I'm not really sure you can model how your lungs work. And then let's see if this one has food. I don't know if this one has a food recipe, but it does show you how it goes through your digestive system. So there you go. And then we have some fluff, <laughs> some stuffing here, batting, whatever you call it. And then we have some eyeballs and some Velcro is what's behind it. And then we have all our, all of our bodily parts here. So we have a brain and then a stomach. I can't remember. Oh, there might be a heart too. There might be a heart. I can't remember for sure. And then some different pieces right here that are going to help us put this all together. And then we have a whole bunch of tubing. This is a headband. <laughs> I don't know what this is for. And so we have a bunch of tubing right here. And then this is just the cutest little funnel you ever did see. And then we have our checkup form. So you can have, they can play doctor and see how everything's going. And then we have, uh, these are like little green stickers. So I'm not exactly sure what those are for. And this I think is the x-ray paper. So these are the bones, like you can create a hand and then x-ray so i can't remember how all this stuff works it's been a few years almost three actually since we had this and then this is clear <laughs> you're like you're not holding up every anything so this is a big clear sheet right here and then we have a dry erase marker and then here is this thing it's big i'm not going to open it all the way up here but as you can see it is really big it will fold out to you know almost a normal size person maybe not quite that tall but it's pretty close it's a big poster so I'll, maybe I'll hang it up and take a picture of it so you can see it. But that's what's in this crate and I'm excited for him to do this. I know he's been excited about it. So I'm gonna let him get at it and we will let you know how it goes.
So Manti finished his Kiwi Crate and we're really excited to show you all the things. It was a lot of fun. There was three different projects he could work on, but he again has his fingers in the book. So we're gonna show that to you first. <laughs> so, yep, what do you have there? He's scared. He's scared. Look at all these. <laughs> if you're wondering, he's scared. And then what here? So this one, I couldn't find the treat in the intro to this video or the you know food thing. That's because it was on a different page. So it's making little bone breadsticks. Yeah, so they're yummy. You can see them right here. If it'll focus on it, but you can cut them to look, make them look like bones. So I thought that was a really cute idea. And then what did you want to show them on this page? There's book. Oh. <laughs> So you can do stuff um, based through the digestive system. I guess that's what he wanted to show you. Oh, okay. I forgot to show you one more thing, I think. One more thing. So let's hold up these things. Oh yes, this one was pretty cool, this project. Let me show you this real quick. So in here it has them practice writing with their right hand and their left hand. And he's right-handed. And so then this is what it looks like left-handed. So he wrote red right-handed and then he wrote it left-handed. And then he drew some shapes down here. So it just has them practicing using both of their hands and just how different it is and how hard it is to kind of get your brain to, <laughs> to work that way. Oh, and he wants to show you, you can do an experiment with how to make your lungs work. Let's see where we're at here. Okay, so now that we've done all that stuff in the book, let's hold up these things. So he made a stethoscope mm -hmm. that you can put on your ears and it has the little, it's the little funnel is the part you'd put on your heart to listen to it. So those are just really cute. And you know, it has the, hold on one second. It has a little doctor card right here. So they can put those in, pretend to be a doctor and take some notes on this with the dry erase marker. Cause it is kind of this little plastic laminated so you could erase it. <laughs> <laughs> the heart is listening to itself. <laughs> so then he was able to sew these pieces. So we have the heart, the brain and the stomach. So he had a lot of fun sewing those. And for the most part, it was pretty easy for him. I really like the string that it comes with because the ends of it are like a shoelace. They have that plastic on them. So it makes it really easy to thread. So you don't have to thread a needle or anything. They can just thread it through there and it's really easy. And then what else did we like about these? I just forgot. They're fun. They're fun. <laughs> They're all squishy and they practice fine motor skills. I think that's what I wanted to say. They help a lot with fine motor skills. And then I just helped him tie it off, but he was able to do most of the sewing. Once he got the hang of it and remembered how to sew this way, he was able to do it just fine. Um, I, I, um, it came with the own um, color string. Oh, and yes. I did the they came with string face. that matched, so he matched them up. Okay, and then the last thing, can you put the heart down, please? <laughs> the last thing was doing an x-ray type thing. And so he took this paper and put, we put the bones on. I helped a little bit because all these little ones were a little bit hard for him. There's also extra bones so you could take these ones off and there's some that are broken. He wanted to make sure you guys saw those. So if you wanted to pretend your bone was broken and then you put it on this paper that's rough on one side and you set it like this out in the sun. This says for five minutes, we did it for five minutes and you could faintly see the hand this glows in the dark so you go in a dark place and <laughs> go to a dark place no and so you can see the the i don't know it's not a reflection but you can see the handprint outlined in the glow in the dark and so we set it outside for longer and then parts of it blew away but we found them <laughs> and that you could see it a lot better after that so i don't know if five minutes is quite long enough maybe it'll work better for you and we had it like in full sun in our backyard and it still just wasn't quite long enough, I don't think, for you to be able to see the x-ray. So that was what we got in the crate this month. I thought it was a lot of fun. Did you have fun doing it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can tell them what was the fun. What, he wants to know, tell you what his favorite part was, or the funnest part. It was the stuff to put in it. Putting the fluff in them? You mm -hmm. liked stuffing them, that was the funnest part? Was there something that was hard? Uh, starting off with it to try to do the, and the ending with it. Yeah, trying to get it the right way. He had a little bit of a struggle trying to do that, huh? Uh, I had a struggle with these. Yeah, he had a struggle doing the smaller pieces are a little harder. So we really enjoyed the Kiwi Crate this month and we just had a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to see what we get next month. 
and I hope you use your brain this month. <laughs> the, the brain. So, okay, we're I, gonna say goodbye. I, and so, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like seeing these videos, and we will see you next month.